everyone welcome to my channel I uh, just thought I'd start off by showcasing my monthly perfume tray rotation um, I've been you know collecting perfumes for a few years now and I had picked up this really great uh, tip and way of you know, really getting to use my perfumes and getting to know them and um, rotating them. I've picked up this tip throughout, you know, a lot of great YouTubers and fragrance reviewers here. Um, you know, I, I, I saw um, Amy Glam testing it out. I've seen some other YouTubers, Carmen Sintrix, uh, using a rotation style where they would pick a few fragrances each month and then um, you know, test to see how they like it, if it's going to stay in their collection, if it's, um, you know, worth decluttering. This is what I have left at the end of March. It's currently March 31st. Uh, tomorrow is going to be April 1st. So, you know, I'm just going to switch out the remaining perfumes that I have. You can see I've got a few dents going on here. Um, I've got Paris Hilton Gold... Paris Hilton's Gold Rush. Uh, I've used this quite a bit throughout the past few months. Um, you know, and each and every single time, you know, the, I, I really get a chance to use my perfumes and, you know, see what I like, see what I don't. And she's she's been here for a while now. Um, here I've got uh, Jimmy Choo's uh, Eau de Toilette. Really, really nice one here. And I made pretty good dent. And as well, and that was just this month alone. Um, Ariana Grande's Moonlight. It's a little hard to see here, but you know, I've used pretty much two thirds of this one. This one's a very, very nice, sweet marshmallow and dark berries scent. Um, you know, Banana Republics. This is Peony and Peppercorn. This is a very nice. Very nice freshy over here. Light, fresh floral scent. Again, pretty big dent going. I don't know if you can really see it here. Um, yeah. And that's, again, that's just in this month alone. So this was another keeper that I, I really liked. This one I, I had some troubles with. I'm, I'm guessing maybe it's the weather. Um, didn't really didn't really get much use out of this one. This was just... Uh, Perfume I picked up one day, a few months ago now, uh, back in, um, I want to say maybe over the summer, at a Marshalls. I like the scent. It's a very nice, sweet, light vanilla scent, but I was struggling with this one for the month of March. And uh, this one I found was best during the cooler, cooler days. This is Guerlain's um, La Petite Robe Noire. Uh, but in like this cool little travel purse spray. Excuse my nails, guys. Sorry, I gotta get them done. But this one was really nice for the colder months. I really liked this one. Um, nice little magnetic cap there. But yeah, these were the ones that kind of stayed. I decluttered. I usually start each monthly tray with about 10. Um... Yeah, 10 perfumes, and these were the ones that pretty much stuck around. So, you know, we're going to switch these out and see how April goes. I think I've got a pretty good selection here for the next month. And I'm going to be, I'm pretty excited to test them out and try and see how I feel about them. All right, so let's just get rid of these old ones, like I said. I don't know if you can see like this really nice little perfume tray I got as a Christmas gift from a very good friend of mine, very, um, very, very good friend of mine. We've been friends for a while. 
onto the April perfume tray. So the first one we have is um, uh, Le Monde Gourmand Figue du Forêt. And this is a really nice, uh, fresh fig, fruity, aromatic scent. It's more of a body mist, but it has some pretty good longevity. Um, this is from Urban Outfitters, but I think I got it out of Marshalls. Um, I've had this one for about two years now. Got a pretty, pretty good dent going there. Um, but yeah, I, th this is a staple for me. I always like to have this one around springtime and with April coming in, you know, it's, I, I find that these months will be best to have, you know, lighter floral fragrances. I'm a big fan of floral, um, scents, so be pretty happy to test those out. And speaking of florals, we have Coach Floral. I believe this is the Eau de Toilette. First of all, look how cute this little bottle is. I, I, I've seen a lot of YouTubers who collect like the mini versions of perfumes and I can see why. This is so adorable. And it's just a little dabber, it's not, you know, spray, but very cute still. Yeah, we're going for a pretty much floral theme this, uh, this spring. Keep that right here in the front. And piggybacking off of, you know, spring scents, this is Burberry's My Burberry Blush. It's a little hard to focus right now. I have the rollerball version of it. And I know a lot of people, you know, uh, aren't a big fan of the rollerballs, myself included. But, you know, it's a good way to test out a new fragrance. And I, I think... For someone, you know, who's building a collection, the best thing is to probably get the smaller size or the rollerball size, plus they're a little cheaper. I got this one also at a discount store. Um, I I do like this one. This reminds me very similar to um, Burberry Brit Sheer or perhaps uh, Burberry's Body, t the tender uh, version. But again, a very nice, light, fresh floral scent, so I'm pretty excited to try that one. Gives me a bit of um, a fresh, clean, you know, almost shampoo vibes. And going off of that fresh and clean, you know, vibes, next we have is Clinique's Happy. This is a classic. I've always loved this scent. I think it's a staple in everyone, well, it should be a staple in everyone's collection. Um, very nice aquatic citrusy scent. It really, you know, it's a very uplifting scent. Um, I believe I got this one at, it could be Ulta. It could have been Ulta. I've had this for um, a little while now. I think I purchased this over the fall and I'm just now starting getting a chance to, you know, pop this into my rotation because I find this one, it has, it'll have better performance you know, over the springtime rather than fall or winter. Let's see if I can show the cases. Yeah. Yeah, it'll have better performance um, in the springtime rather than fall or winter time. Another classic here is uh, Elizabeth Arden's green tea. Um, I remember this scent from my mom having this way back in the day. Um, and I've always liked it. You know, it's a very, very light, clean scent. I feel this will probably be best, you know, maybe at bedtime or on those lazy weekends where you don't really want to wear something too strong. You don't really want to wear something too um, attention grabbing. You just kind of want to be fresh, clean, put together, you know, comfortable. And this is it. This is um, Elizabeth Arden's Green Tea. And she'll be, I'll put her right here. Another throwback, another classic is Davidoff's Cool Water. Now, I don't have a very vague, I don't have much of a memory of this scent, but I've heard that it's quite a classic. 
Um, you see it pretty much anywhere from your local pharmacies, discount stores, um, your mom's, you know, wardrobe, whatever. But I hear some pretty good things about it, and I, I, I've tested it. I only got this one back in December, so again, um, it gave me too much of a, it's too fresh and clean for the winter time, so this will be perfect for spring and summer, you know, um, I could probably even finish this off by this month, it's such a little bottle, but pretty excited to try that one off, I hear a lot of good things about Davidoff's cool water, and it also came with this little, little hand lotion, body lotion, which, you know, I'll use as well just to layer and help make the scent last a little longer but who knows now this perfume brand i've been pretty obsessed with um this is the clean classic or the clean reserve now i found these at um i believe i found this one at a nordstrom rack for like 20 bucks and I love their scents because, again, it, it's exactly what it says, clean. It is so fresh, so put together. Um, this is rain and pear. So it's a very aquatic, very light, fruity. It, it honestly does make you think of a wet, juicy pear that's been caught in the rain and whatnot. So this one I'm very excited to try because, you know, rain and pear April showers bring May flowers so pretty excited to try that one I'm gonna put it right here next we've got uh, Ariana Grande's Ari this cute little crystal bottle with her little pom-pom um, this is a very very sweet um, very sweet almost gourmand Type of scent now I'm not the biggest fan of gourmands but I do like this scent I think this one's really really nice this one in moonlight by Ariana Grande were two of my favorites from her um, probably doesn't match the rest of the tray but I am really I really would like to try this give it another chance I had this over the summer um, and I, I quickly had to remove it from the my summer rot rotation I felt that it was a little too cloying, a little too heavy um, for the summer, for me at least. Um, it can certainly withstand it, but it just wasn't my, didn't fit my scent profile at the time. So hopefully my nose will change and I think I'll get the best use of it, um, best use of it during the springtime and while we still have a couple cooler days where I'm located. And I don't think we can start springtime without at least having one, you know, Marc Jacobs scent. So we've got Marc Jacobs, Daisy Love Spring. It's literally in the title. So I feel like it's very appropriate to uh, have this scent, have this perfume in my rotation for the month of April. And I'm all out of space in my trades. This bottle is a little too big for the one this is the 1.6 fluid ounce so not too big but not I should say not too small but also just a little too big for my tray size so I'll just place it right here meantime I love this little I love this bottle I think it's the cutest thing and I can't wait to test this one out um, I'll be having you know perfume reviews throughout the uh, the rest of this month and you know I'll just I'll get a chance to talk about each and every single fragrance that I'm trying I really hope to start you know some awesome conversations with you guys and just really be part of the perfume community I think it's you know really awesome and positive area in the in this little corner of the internet so yep and last but Certainly not the least. Um, I think I saved this the this one. The one I'm the most excited for is um, this is 
Mugler's Aura. Look at this one. This is absolutely gorgeous. I saw this on a few uh, perfume reviews. I saw this on um, Ksenia's channel a few, maybe a few months ago and I, I was like, I had to find this one. The bottle is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And I, I had just a quick test scent. I just uh, had a quick test of it and it is a very interesting, interesting fragrance. So I'm so excited to try this one. And I hope this one will be staying in my collection. I'll probably just keep it just for the bottle alone. Look how gorgeous this is. Look at this. It's like a, it's like a gem. It, it honestly is just like a, a gem or some sort of like mystical token. I don't have any room, so one of these, maybe, maybe I'll push you aside here. Just to, you gotta make room for a Mugler's. Oh my god, okay, awesome. All right, so that's looking to be my April 2023 perfume rotation. Like I said, I'm so excited to test out uh, a lot of these fragrances. A lot of them, you know, we've, I, I've had some, you know, well, well beloved. A lot of a couple new ones here, um, some classics. I, I think it's a pretty good variety of scents, you know, ranging from all different. Uh, you know, price tags between, you know, your nice affordable little cheapies. Here, some celebrity scents, some classics. We have um, a little more designer. Um, and no niches, but I think I'm pretty satisfied with this. Uh, so like I said, you know, stick around. Uh, the rest of my channel, I'll be, you know, reviewing each and every single fragrance and, you know, just getting chance to go in depth and really getting to know them and really ho hoping to really get to know the rest of you know this awesome community and hoping to start some great conversations and just you know getting to share our love for perfumes and smelling good thank you so much guys